let's talk about the week plan um, today we're talking about new material tomorrow we're having test review for extra credit and Thursday is the test okay and then we'll be done spring break uh, today is just new material yeah um, Wednesday we're just gonna have a free day even though it's a four-day week I don't really care I like that so, so we're still gonna have a free day um, and so the test will be Thursday. So there's only one homework this week. It's tonight's homework. And it's still due next Monday, like during spring break. So if you don't like that, then just get it done before then. <laughs> so, so it's not an issue. Okay? Yes. I leave Thursday, so do I take my blue homework on Wednesday? Yeah, just take it on the way. That's going to be a little awkward. Uh, I'll have to figure out if I, if I can do that on Delta Map. Or I, I think so. I can Maybe. take it when I get to Georgia. So I just have to extend my time a little. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what time I'm going to get. I got to play around with the times and see if I'm allowed to. Like, okay, I'll email you. I'll look that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't keep in contact. You can just give us, like, Sophia, like, or something like that. Right. Okay, so any, any other questions on the plan for the week? So this is actually going to be the only live or recorded lesson for the week because tomorrow is test review, Wednesday is a free day, and the test is Thursday. So this would be like the only actual lesson. Is that? <laughs> All right. All right. So today we're going to talk about the definition of continuity. So we've talked about continuity lots of times in this class, and it seems weird that we've talked about it, but we've never actually defined it. But now we can actually have a more formal definition. So intuitively, what I've always said is the function is continuous if it's like unbroken. And that makes sense, right? That's definitely what it means. Um, so intuitively. Function is continuous if it's unbroken. I.e., which is Latin for yeah. it est. Yes, very good. Daddy, it est. <laughs> I.e., uh, it can be drawn without lifting your pencil. That's like that's what continuity means. It can be drawn without lifting your pencil. Okay. But there's a more formal definition that actually involves limits. Here's what it is. And it actually is exactly the same thing at its core, but it just has a, you know, a little more like formality and rigor to it. All right, so here's how it works. So this is the formal definition. And it's actually defined on a point rather than on a whole function, okay? So it goes like this, a function f of x is continuous at a point x equals a if three things have to be true. There's three criteria that have to be met in order for this to be true. First thing that has to be true is that f of a is defined and if you just think about that criteria of course that makes sense if the function is not defined at a point then it can't be continuous at that point you'd have to lift your pencil somehow right 
even if it was just a single point that was removed, you got to lift your pencil to get across that little gap, right? right? So, of course, the function has to be defined at that point. The second thing that has to be true, all three of these things have to be true. The second thing that has to be true is that the limit has to exist. The limit as x goes to a of f of x must exist. And if you think about situations in which the limit doesn't exist, like a jump, of course, the function is not continuous at a jump, right? Other situations in which the limit doesn't exist would be uh, possibly like an asymptote, an infinite situation. And that also is not possible to be drawn without lifting your pencil. So of course, those also like are kind of ruled out in this case. And then the third thing that has to be true, if you just think about all the scenarios that we've that we've eliminated by determining that the function has to be defined and the limit has to exist. In other ways, you might be able to draw a function that's not continuous. The only other thing I could think of is if you have a, a point missing and then it's just defined to be somewhere else. Because in that situation, function's defined and the limit exists, but they're not equal to each other. So that's the third thing that has to be true, is that these two things have to be equal to each other. The limit as x goes to a, of f of x has to equal f of a. So, if, like I said, if you just think about what each of these criteria is preventing, like this prevents the situation where um, the function is just going along and there's just a point missing. It prevents that from happening, right? If the limit has to exist, that prevents a jump from happening. So it prevents something like this, where the function's going along and then it jumps up to somewhere else, right? Because here the function's defined, but the limit doesn't exist, right? And if you look at this last situation, this prevents something like uh, the function going along with a hole and then a point just defined elsewhere. Okay? So that's it. Those are the three things that have to be true for a function to be continuous. So if you just think about it like logically, it makes sense that all these things have to be true. Like if you rule out one of them, then it's possible, to, like if you erase one of these three things, then it's possible to draw a function that you know is it continuous, but that fits the other two criteria, okay? So all three of these things have to be true. So what the homework's gonna be like tonight is they're gonna give you a graph of a function, and they're just gonna ask you questions about what are its limits from the left, from the right, or without a superscript, what is the value of the function at, uh, at that point, and then compare them, like, does the limit exist? Is the function defined? Are those two things equal? And therefore, is the function continuous or is it not? And that's that's it. So, like for example, let's actually just look at delta math so we can make another problem. So, if I look at this um, problem set on delta math, one second. Here. So here's the typical question, all right? And they're asking you to determine continuity at negative four. Now, if you look at x equals negative four, is the function continuous at that point or is it not continuous? At negative four? Oh, okay. oh. I was looking at the little symbols. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's defined on a point by point basis. So at negative four, this is definitely continuous. Like I could draw a little neighborhood around that without lifting my pencil at all. The whole function itself is not continuous, right? Like it's not continuous at two, it's not continuous at negative six, but it's definitely continuous at negative four. So ultimately, that's where we're headed. Now, if you look at the questions they ask you, they're just asking you all about the limits at that point. So like, what's the limit as x goes to negative four from the left? It's one, right? It's the y value that this graph is approaching from the left. So like, as you go towards that point, what y value are you getting closer to? The answer is one. So that's what you type in for the limit as x goes to four 
a negative one, negative four, sorry, from the left, you type in one. How about from the right? Same thing. So then they're saying, so since those are the one-sided limits, it can be determined that the limit as x goes to four, negative four without a superscript exists or doesn't exist. Definitely exists because the left and right hand limits are the same. So it exists and it's equal to one. Now, if you got a different answer for this one-sided limit and this one, then you say it doesn't exist. And that's it. Okay? And then furthermore, it can be seen that f of negative 4, so now you want to know what is the actual y value at that point. It's also 1. So I'm going to type that in. f of negative 4 is also 1. So then you'd say, therefore, it can be stated that the function is continuous, right? Because the limit is equal to the value of the function. So you would say, because the limit as x approaches negative 4 uh, is equal to f of negative 4. It's this one right here. Okay? And that's it. You just answer those questions about each of these functions. So if you look at one where, let's Sorry, find one where it's capital. Vivian Cavill, please report to Mrs. Rosemary's room. Mrs. Rosemary, please report to Mrs. Rosemary's room. So if you look at this one, this one's also continuous at 1. So I'm just going to go to the next problem. At negative 6, this one's not continuous, right? So let's look at this one and answer the same question. So as you go towards negative 6 from the left, what's the limit? It's 1. So you type this 1. How about from the right? What is it? It's 3. So therefore, it can be determined that the limit as x to negative 6 does not exist, right? Because the left, left and right hand limits are different. Furthermore, it can be seen that f of negative 6 equals, it is defined, it's that dot right there, so it's 1. Therefore, it can be stated that the function is not continuous, and the reason is because the limit doesn't exist. That's the reason, right? So you'd say the limit as x goes to negative 6 does not exist. That's the answer. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's all you have to do for these problems is just answer those questions. What are the one-sided limits? What's the overall limit? What's the value of the function? Do they agree? And that's it. Yeah. Is this on the test? Yes. Yeah, this is included on Thursday's test. Okay, and then tomorrow's review assignment, is it going to be like the last one we had, or is it the normal one that we've done this week? I don't remember what the last one was like. It was like you gave us like six points, points and then everything we got wrong. Oh, time. that's right. Yeah, no, it's going to be like a normal one. Okay. It'll be posted on Google Classroom, and there's six questions, I think, and you get six points for those six questions. Yeah, sure. Any other questions? Okay, that's it. Let's stop recording here. Remember when we took the...